I want to speak briefly about transaction costs. And any costs that we incur when making investments are going to take away from our return. Now, in some cases, these transaction costs might be perfectly justifiable. In other cases, they may not. And what we saw when we talked about active versus passive management, some people argue that in very mature stock markets or securities markets, paying for active management um, that often doesn't better the performance of the benchmark doesn't make sense. And any transaction costs of that type, whether they be management fees, commissions, or so forth, will also take away from our compounding. And as we saw, compounding uh, typically uh, it benefits greatly from having a lar larger, a, a better rate of return, and especially over the long term, having a higher rate of return has a huge impact on the amount of money we end up we end up with. So it's worth being aware of transaction costs. It's worth focusing on those that are worthwhile and those that aren't. It's always in our best interest to go with reputable pro product providers and uh, to pay for services where appropriate and not to try and uh, go for empty promises at the risk of co uh, cutting costs. But it's worth being aware of transaction costs and it's certainly always worth understanding why our rate of compounding is going to be reduced in the, if it's visibly reduced in the near term, perhaps to get a better return over the long term and why, which, why the transaction costs might be or should be justifiable before entering into a transaction.